Mr. Yule. Yeah. You heard the sheriff's testimony, didn't you? Yes. Do you agree with his description of Mayla's injuries? That her right eye was blackened? That she was beaten around the right side? That's what the Dictate said. That her right eye was blackened? I hold with Dictate. Mr. Ewell, can you read and write? Objection, Your Honor. Can't see what the witness's literacy has to do with the case. Immaterial and irrelevant. Judge, if you allow the question plus one more, you'll soon see. All right, Atticus, but be sure that we do see. Overruled. Will you write your name and show us? I most positively will. How do you think I signed my relief checks? If you want me to, I'll put the old devil out of his misery right now and get it over with. There ain't nothing left for him. He can't eat. He can't see. He can't hardly walk. And tomorrow you can you can pick one of Slim's pops. Sure. I got a lot of them. Uh, you ain't got no guy. What the hell I ain't? I got Luger. Hmm? It won't hurt him none at all. Well, maybe tomorrow. Let, let's wait till tomorrow. I don't see no reason for Let's just get over there, okay? We can't sleep with him sticking around in here. You better let him go, Candy. All right. Take him. I was a young man growing up in Stuttgart. All of the businesses were owned by the Juden. The grocer would extend us credit to buy potatoes, milk, bread and charge us interest for food in my country. They were not even Germans and they owned my country. What I saw today in your country sent a shiver down my spine because the same thing will happen to you. <laughs>